Well, hello everyone, you're hearing the first LEGO Star Wars 20 Anniversary set review on the Imperial Dropship set, 20th Anniversary Edition, which was just released today. Just released. So, on the front of the box here, see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, but with that interesting border that I haven't seen since around 2004 or 5. And also the really cool uh, 20th Anniversary logo. Saying 20 years, Lego Star Wars, 1999 through 2019, and anniversary of the collectible Star Wars, or collectible Han Solo figure, and picture of the set in action. And age recommendation is 6 and up, set number 75262, has 125 pieces. And then on the back, see the logos again, the features of it, and then how all the collectible minifigs can come together with the bases and then advertisement for the original version released in 2008. So now onto the booklet, which is kind of small for this set, but on the front of which, see a picture, the same picture, you can see a little light up of the 20 years or 20th anniversary. And then short little comparison of it in the original 2008 version. And then advertisement of, and then a little write up about the classical figuring included with it, as well as with the other 20th anniversary sets, which I'll also be reviewing. And then an in film picture of the stormtroopers in the background. And then after Lego Life. And then the building sets. And then on the back, you see when on the online survey, then add for the pieces included, and then add for the action battle sets, which I might get in review. Add for the mini, all the mini figs for this current wave, and add for Lego Life again. So, on to the mini fig selection. First of all, get a retro Han Solo one. So I see this print of which just like as he was in the original Millennium Falcon set from 2000, of course. Like this front print, face print, everything just about like that with the traditional yellow color which they did until 2004 and also megaphone piece, which they've always used in the early times until 2006-7. But unlike with those older versions, the back print of which does say 20 years Lego Star Wars, which you'll see throughout the reviews. But pretty awesome that they are doing this. But also with each 20th anniversary figure, you get a little stand for them. So this does say 20 years on it, and name of each character. So this being Han Solo for you to stand up on like so. But aside from that, do you get the uh, Shadow Trooper, which hasn't been made in like a long, quite a while. Oh well, there we go. So I see his printing of which done pretty well, and also the stormtrooper has the stormtrooper in the helmet in the more recent style, but in black, which is kind of nice. And there's his back print of which it does have the newer blaster again. And detach it, annoying angry clone face, which every trooper in this set comes with. And then lastly is the uh, original trilogy Stormtrooper, but but the most recent style was seen in the like Death Star Escape set from earlier this year. But in this design of which done pretty well, kind of well captures it more. But the print of which also kind of the same as previous years. And underneath it. Annoying angry clone face. Just give plain black heads. Come on, Lego. And that is it. This with the minifig selection. 
Let's now on to the Imperial Dropship itself. Uh, done pretty well. So, kind of, so not very much difference compared to the original 2008 version. As does have the like uh, cockpit piece from the Hero Factory Invasion from Below line in, in, instead of the like studded ones, but that's all right. But and also it does have some like jagged slopes in some areas. Let's see. Dark, dark blue da jacket slopes compared to regular blue, but one of which has the imperial sign that has a sticker on it, rather than all of having uh, stickers. But any yes can mount the blasters or stud shooters onto these to give a perfect homage to the like cylinder pieces that the original version did. But, and on the side of which it does have the Imperial or Empire symbol on it, which the older version didn't. But, and the upper wing area of which, also a lot different, like, but it can pan in and out. And it's with these jacket pieces, which I believe are from the Nexo Knights line. If you know which line it's from, tell in the comments. But a good use of these pieces, in, like instead of the like hexagonal plates which the old version had, and on the back of which does have a couple of boosters there, and enough seating area to fit all your troopers on. But what's interesting, you can like lift this up and pull this out, and it's just an act, a little hole attached to a single axle rod. And enough space to fit all three of your stormtroopers onto it, like so. And just slide that on, and that, and they're ready to go. And then flip over, and some little right amount of space, but has a little printed control panel there and enough space to fit your other trooper or, or shout trooper on it. And, and now on to the final verdict. Overall, this I think is a pretty good set. And this I probably might not consider as a battle pack because it's at a $20 range rather than a $15 range because of the anniversary Han Solo included with this. But you know, it's kind of one of the draws for this set or all uh, these sets. Making them well rememberable in the future. But if you are to like get this set for army building, then go ahead and pick it up. Or if you wanted to add it to your expanded universe collection, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.